That's right, the success of the last dumplings, uh, I thought we'd bring back some dumplings. We'll swap them around a little bit, so we're going to do pork dumplings today. Beautiful bok choy in here, some nice flavourings uh, within the dumplings. And then I've got a really nice spicy Szechuan um, chilli oil sauce to serve with them. But the little twist on the dumplings, we're going to make them in the same way, but we're going to pan fry them. So one side's going to be nice and crispy, and then it's going to be steamed. We're going to show you how to do that a little bit later on in the show. Pork dumplings, <laughs> what, do we have to, what do you have to do? Well, we're going to start with pork. Oh, Okay. Right. So you just oh, mix that I around. It. I knew it. Hang on. I'm going to put you to work. To wash. So we're going to put some bok choy in here. Yeah. But you know you could use any any vegetable if you want. You know, like some Chinese cabbage or or well, anything you can find really. But put pork, uh, bok choy works really well. Nice. So I'm just going to chop it off. You could blanch it if you wanted. Um, but I'm just going to chop it nice and fine, and then just going to saute it off quickly. So it's really fast. Gives a bit of a nice bit of flavour and some texture. Okay, cool. Um, right. In there, what are some we putting? Soy sauce. Soy sauce first for our pork dumplings. All right, so you're flavouring it. Yep. And we've got some nice dark soy, a little bit of that. That'll give us some nice richness. So I guess with the soy, we have to be easy on the salt. Well, yeah, yeah. So I mean, you're using effectively using the soy sauce to season. To season it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yum. All right. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a uh, little bit of oil in there. So just recap, so you put soy sauce and what was the other one? Sesame? Uh, no. no, soy sauce, uh, dark soy as well. And so dark soy. So you can okay. see you're getting that nice colour from that. Um, and there's, yeah, a little bit of sesame oil in there as well. And then just a splash of water, just to, just to sort of loosen it. Okay. Get that moisture in there. Nice. And uh, we're going to sauté off of that. And then we're going to put some pepper in there. So that will only take you like a, oh, maybe about a minute or so to sort of sauté. You just want to wilt it down, but you still want a nice sort of texture and crunch. Uh, and then we're going to add that to our mixture. Okay, nice. And then you know that's pretty much it. Oh, easy. Well, yeah, but you you know you can add all extra flavours in there, whatever you want. I'm gonna... What are you doing for the long weekend? Anything? Any plans? Oh, I'll probably go to the beach if the weather's good. Oh yeah, there you go. And with the rest talking. of Auckland. <laughs> have you used your uh, Have you used your barbecue yet this year? Oh yeah. Oh, look at you. Every time it's it. not, not raining. Oh, okay. So yeah. So if we're at home, we'll definitely do a barbecue. Oh, so you're not, you're maybe you're you're not a pizza seasonal actually. barbecue, just all year round. And oh, your yeah. pizza oven. No, oh, I've been I've been known to uh, still do a barbecue in the rain. Just right. keep it outside and then just put it close to the door and just go out. It's I great. know. I clean, I clean mine the other night. It's a good time if you haven't yet. Clean your barbecue. Get it ready. Labor Weekend's always a good time of the year. And this is perfect for a Friday night too, isn't it? Oh, the, yeah, this is, this yeah. is a great one, you know. And this is, this is such a social recipe, because you can invite everyone around, have mm. a few drinks, mm. make the mix like before, always make like three times the recipe, and then, you know, get your guests, uh, have a few beers, sort of have a chat, and go, right, we're going to make dumplings. Nice. And get them to make all the dumplings, you know, more than you need, freeze like two thirds of them, and then cook some for them. That is brilliant. <laughs> and you get to find out about your mates and what's going on. Exactly. You know, That's everyone really needs good. to yarn a bit more in this country around See, food. No, nobody's going to come round at the weekend now. <laughs> <laughs> you too, we have to go and make our own dumplings. Right, so uh, so we've got some dumpling wrappers, so this is great. So, oh, uh, yay, dumpling wrappers! Yeah. You don't have to make the, the, what do you call it, around the dumplings? The, the dumpling dough. Do dough, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So we've got the wrappers already made, so obviously speeds up the process. Right, be quite generous, but don't be too generous because you've got to fill it and you don't want it popping out everywhere. Okay, so this is a good trial and error, so do one. Yeah, and then just put a little, just a little bit of water on there, you know, because if you're working with lots of dumpling wrappers, um, you know, it's it's going to dry out, especially under the light. So just a little bit of water just sort of helps do it. All right, and I'm going to fold in the corners. No, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to watch you. I'm going to follow your lead. Right, so fold it in half, and then squeeze it together. Yeah. Like that. Fold it in half, squeeze. Yeah, and then I'm going to tuck these corners in. Oh, okay. And then bring that up to that centre fold. Oh, it's like doing the corners on yeah. your sheets or at home on the bed. Because we're going to do it like that because it's a little bit of a wetter mix and we're going to pan fry them so we just want them a little bit yeah. more sturdy. And so you've got a good seal there and then you can give them a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a shape like that. But just make sure they sit flat like that because we're going to pan fry them after. Okay. And we want that nice flat base that's going to go nice and crispy. And then you put that up there like that. Yeah, a little bit like that and then crimp it all together. Okay, cool. Oh, you've that been one again. yeah. And then just crimp it all together. Yeah, crimp it all together, make it look uh, like a, like a, a dumpling. proper dumpling. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, I'll oh, keep wow. practicing this. <laughs> right, we need about another uh, 100. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> We've got some other things to do in the meantime. I'll tell you what, we will come back and show you how you actually cook these dumplings very soon. Right, so get your pan on, nice yep. medium heat, bit of oil goes in there. Okay. And then we're going to start frying the. Um, 
dumplings. Okay. Right, same time, I've got a dry pan here, got some of the yeah, Szechuan peppercorns. Yeah. I'm just gonna lightly toast those and then we're gonna crush those. This is like for our dipping sauce. Yeah, this is for our <gasps> dipping sauce. So Ooh, it's yes. like a it's like a chili oil dipping mm. sauce. Mm. Right. There you go. So you've got a little bit of sizzle in there, so yes. dumplings go in. And we wanna, you know, give it a minute or two in here. It's just gonna start getting the um, the bottom of the dumpling fried. Okay. Which is great. But then, how are we going to cook the rest of the dumpling? Well, that is right, because we're not using a steamer, so there must be a technique that you're about to there, show us. There is a technique I'm going to show you now. So okay. once we've done that, yeah. we are going to add a little bit of water in here. It's going to create steam. We'll pop a lid on there, and then the rest of the dumpling is going to steam sort of in a traditional way. We'll remove the lid, the water will evaporate, and then it will fry again, and they will be good to go. Brilliant. Okay. Dual textured. That is genius, Mark. Okay. Saw it here first. Well, well, probably yeah. not. I'd love to take the credit for that one, but <laughs> no, I think, I think China's going to have, <laughs> have an issue with that. Right, so you've got the Szechuan pepper, so just yeah. lightly toasted, so we can smell that now. That goes in there, we're going to crush them up. Right, I want you to put about a quarter of a cup of oil into here. A quarter of a cup? Yeah. Yep. And then I'm going to crush the Szechuan pepper, and then we're going to infuse the oil with that. So a, a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit more, yeah. Well, usually I get out a measuring jug for this. <laughs> But you're a professional chef, so you know how much quarter of a cup is that, right? Yep. Okay. Well, cool. hopefully. What about these? I'm burning. Oh god. Don't, yeah, don't burn them. Jesus. All right. So nice bit of colour on there. We can turn it down a little bit. Right. Yep. So step away because we've got hot oil. We're adding water. Yeah. That goes in there. Look at all that beautiful steam. Lid on. And that's just going to start steaming them. You know, keep checking them. They'll take like two, three minutes to cook. If the, you know, just always go less water than more. If they're not cooked and it's still a bit sort of doughy, add a little bit more water until it goes. And then we'll take the lid off, reduce the rest of the um, uh, water from there, and then, you know, it'll be beautiful, good to go. Oh, yes. So we've got the Szechuan oil in there. Yeah. Just warm it up to temperature, take it off, and infuse it. So that's going to flavour our oil. So we're just using a, a nice neutral oil there. Sounds great. Okay. Uh, and then a little bit of a sauce. We've got the, uh, the Chinese black vinegar. Yep, Chinese black beautiful. vinegar. Beautiful. Um, sesame oil. Yep. And a little bit of sugar. Okay, nice. Okay, you can whisk that in. Yep. So just keep whisking it um, until it dissolves. And then a little bit of garlic. We'll just crush, pop that in there. So really simple, but like you know, there's a good tip now with this. If you make a you know a large quantity, you can put it in a jam jar and mm. just keep it in the fridge, you know. Okay. And it will just keep infusing flavour. Oh yeah. Nice. And then you can just even you know have so much flavour in there, you can just even chop it, uh, top it up with um, oil, you know, every now and again. Right, right, you have a look at the dumplings. Okay. Yeah. Still a bit of water in there. They're going yeah. good. They're looking great. So Don't look again. There you go. Oh, look at that. You can see all that pork filling in there cooking away nicely. So we've got a garlic in there. Yep. We're going to put some chilli in there. And then all we need to do is just obviously let this cool down a little bit and then we'll pour that into there. Okay. Do you want me to pour it okay. in now? Yep. yep. I was waiting for an explosion or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. yeah, that's why it's just on a low heat, and that's let why you should let it cool down. down. In. Yeah. And then that can go back in there. Yeah, as it cools down even further, it's just going to infuse all those flavours into it. And it's always a good idea, you know, do this a couple of hours before you want to do it. You know, to help the infusion. Oh, and you'll get so much more flavour into okay, it. Okay, great. Uh, and then we'll check our check our dumplings. Oh, they are looking great. Look at that. Yeah, they're actually not bad. And then you lift it up, it's nice and steamed on the side, and you've got this beautiful caramelised oh, base on there. Dual textures, look, look. beautiful sauce. And look oh. how fast that was. That is amazing. Yeah, you're right. So you want the water to evaporate a bit more, and then they'll be ready to go. Yeah, yeah, and just take them out, serve them off. Mm -mm. Can't wait to eat them. Okay, you can get the recipe on our website where you can also get the full list of ingredients as well. Now to something else which is pretty cute, those dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah, how'd they turn uh, out? Fantastic. Look, I was going to make all these extra dumplings for you, but I'm just going to take them home now. Oh. <laughs> but I have got these for you to try. Look at these. Nice. That's yeah. better, better food than you dished up on Channel 1 Pen. Oh, yeah, it's a bit more real food. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing on Tuesday? Well, on Tuesday I'm joined by Kathy Patterson and we're making spring lamb fillets with tomato salad.